Finally, guys, we have new clothing for meta humans and new hair. So my name is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight. And today I'm excited because we are celebrating the release of the Unreal Engine 5.6. This came out at Unreal Fest. And one of the big things that has come out is that we have new clothing. So this is one of the free assets that are available in Fab. You can access Fab through the engine right here, or you can go to the website. And today I'm going to walk you through how to add this this clothing, this new clo uh, outfit to the MetaHuman in the MetaHuman uh, in, in the MetaHuman creator, the new one. So when I expand this and zoom in, you can see the character right here. And you can see he has shoes on it. And I think there's a demo that I shared with you in a short reel. Uh, thank you so much, Corey, for recording that for me. But this shows you the new outfit that is available for free. And then I'll also be able to share with you the new hair that has been added. All right, so the first step to add new clothing to a meta human is you have to make sure you go to edit plugins in Unreal Engine 5.6 and search for, click on all plugins up at the top, search for meta human. and make sure all these plugins are installed. The animator, depth processing, calibration, animator, all of these have to be installed. And then once you're done, you restart if you if you're pro you get a prompt for restarting. And then you make sure you also create an outfits you know, subfolder. So in here is where you're gonna be like, you just simply right click, create new folder, for example, boots or something like that, right? So create, in the content folder, create your outfits subfolder, create a hair subfolder as well. Go to fab, fab.com, and click on the MetaHuman section over here. Go to com compatibility, make sure you narrow it down to 5.6 because you don't want to mix it up, right? And also over on this side, make sure you switch to the newest. And that's where you're gonna find this outfit right here, which is MetaHuman Tech Wear Outfit. This is where you're gonna find the new hair, for example, slick ponytail, bantu knots, and also the messy bun groom. These are all free. Those are free for you to use, which is like the, essentially a default outfit. So double click on this and make sure you're logged into your account, your Epic Games account, and then you can click download, right? Select, check, I have read and agreed to the FAB end user license. And if you want to receive news and surveys or whatever, you can select that. Make sure you read through the end user license agreement over here. Be very, very careful, okay? And click accept. And then download the OA tech where, you know, this outfit right here, click on that, that the MetaHuman package, download it and also this part right here. And when you download it, it's gonna go into your downloads folder and you can see mine is right here, right? And also the hair is right there, Bantu, slick ponytail and Bantu knots. And then when you're done, and let's see, for example, this one, I'll give use this as an example of how once you create, so this, we just call this uh, Abdu Messy Bun, copy the name, and then we'll go back to the Unreal Engine over here. And this is the hair. We'll just go into the hair, subfolder, go to new folder, paste the name. So it's gonna be the messy bun right here. Go back to your downloads folder, drag and drop that package into your Unreal Engine. And then Unreal Engine is gonna go ahead and uh, unpackage the whole file and will show up as a new asset has been imported, okay? Minimize that. And actually, if you go to window over here and go to MetaHuman Manager, under the clothing outfits, for example, you're gonna see that I already have this, the tech outfit. So any new clothing that you make are gonna show up there. And hopefully the, the hair also show up at some point, the, the character assembly and characters are gonna show up here. So the new outfit is gonna show up here, okay? Let's uh, close that. Then make sure you go to your, I have created a subfolder here and I'm just gonna create a new MetaHuman. So if you install the plugins properly, you're gonna find that the MetaHuman option is here. Go to MetaHuman character and we just say, for example, Olive. 
and we're gonna use the new head olive and double click on olive wait for the uh, metahuman creator plugin to load and so this is our new character and you could create a character from scratch using this or you can go to the presets and use one of these characters and then continue deriving one of that so for example let's see let's use let's use this one for example sunita just double click on sunita or pick a, any meta human that you feel will match the hairstyle okay so with sunita loaded we can then go this is before you create the rig before right make sure you don't create the rig just yet and before you do the assembly so we'll go to hair and clothing let's scroll all the way down so there's the we have updo bands but we also have the new messy ban so we'll just go up updo messy ban over here and we're gonna the file that you need is this wi underscore hair not this one this one just drag and drop it here and now you have it so just double click on that and it's going to replace the hair that comes at default with this character right and you can go and do whatever you want with this character change the appearance and you can also change how the character is lit so you can see the hair better right so in, under the details if you just collapse all of these so there's the messy updo ban right there now you can adjust this to be a different color just go as do as much as you want at least you know that now you're able to upload a new um, hair and when you're done with the hair we can now go to the outfit section so just collapse that let's say collapse that collapse that so under the selection click on selection scroll all the way down in this section right here where you have the gamut that's where you need to drop the outfit so this is the tech outfit that we we've downloaded and expanded so the, for the tech outfit you need to go to the top level and look for the wi underscore oa this is the one that you need drag and drop it here and now you see it okay and then double click we want to remove this default one so just double click on this to remove it and make sure the, the underwear is showing <laughs> in case you're in the office <laughs> okay and then double click on this outfit so depending on the body type this character can adjust according so this is a female character but you can see the outfit has actually fit nicely and if we decide to change the body type so if we go to the body over here and go to uh, model and under the global if we decide to adjust the model you can see that the outfit is going to adjust accordingly which is really really helpful right and that's why it's important to do this before you rig because the character needs to be adjusted until you're happy right so there's the character with the hair right so now you can go ahead and if you want just download the 4k resolutions wait for all of these textures to be applied and then you'll be able to create a full rig once the full rig is created then your character is ready to be assembled and once the rig is on we're going to be able to test the animation to see if there are any you know interpenetrations or all of things anything like that but you get a chance to see the rig together with the new outfit and test it with a built-in animation because this is what we used to have in the metahuman creator online but they've also made brought it here but you won't see the animation until the rig is built okay so now that the textures have been applied if we create the full rig you'll be able to test the animation we've got we, i think it has finished applying the 4k textures and you can see how beautiful they look if you add like 8k they're gonna be even better because the detail is amazing in here they look very very realistic so you can imagine if you're creating a short film and you're looking for characters to add to your scenes like in the background even hero characters if you want if you choose to create the character the film fully in 3d then you'll be able to make the entire world about metahumans so they'll be able to stand up to the camera when you get close to them so this part of the process can take a little bit longer 
than usual. So I'm gonna pause this real quick and wait for it until it finishes. So our character is ready. And then under body animation, we can try like maybe the body ROM over here. All right, if this bar is collapsed, you might not be able to see the playback button, but you can expand it like that. And then you can press play. And now you can see the rig fully together with the, the new outfit. And it looks great. All right, and she has the new hair. So guys, that was the quick tutorial on showing you how to apply the new clothing and the new hair to the metahumans and be able to create your short films. The character is fully rigged. Now you can press assemble. And with once the character is assembled, then you'll be able to see the character as a metahuman and you'll be able to see the new outfit with the character inside of the Unreal Engine. Our metahuman has been created and is ready for using the Unreal Engine. So we can actually go ahead and close this. And we can go to the uh, metahuman folder over here, find Olive and just drag and drop her in the interface over here. We can put her on the root over there. And there's our metahuman with the new clothing. And if you see, if you are looking at the metahuman and you see the, uh, the textures are not showing up, just zoom in a little bit close. A little closer and then you'll be able to see the beautiful textures in there and what is wild you know is that now you can if you select the the meta human uh, because i have a webcam on here i'll go ahead and bring up the window uh, virtual production live link and let's delete the error kit over here add the source go to meta human video select it uh, select our you know, webcam over there, give it a name, Olive, Actor, Connect, right? And then select the top part right here. Uh, this is the offset. If you want it to be in sync, minus 0.5, right? So that it lines up and select that. And then you're gonna you can do input video over here if you want to see yourself. But for now, we can just uh, minimize this. And we're gonna go to, let's minimize the movie render cube. We wanna go to the outliner. We're gonna select our olive meta human over here. And then under the details, uh, for live link subject, we're gonna select olive actor over there, select use live link and use air kit and there we go now we have olive talking with a new outfit she's looking fly <laughs> well that's me <laughs> but olive is happy because now she has a cool outfit so that's it guys that's what this the quick walkthrough of how to use uh, the new outfits and the new hair you can see the new hair on uh, olive's head and the new outfit and Olive is very happy. And you know what Olive is telling you to do? Olive is telling you to subscribe. Why haven't you subscribed? You know, so if I have like 11 labs, and I'm hoping that they kind of make this possible, where 11 labs can work like in real time or any other, you know, AI system that changes voices so that I could switch. Like if I press a button and I'm able to switch to a different voice and then say, oh, thank you so much, guys, for walking through me with my, my new hairdo. You know, so then you have a different voice altogether. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. All right. <laughs> this is an awesome day because we've been looking for this for a long time. And I'm excited because this means that uh, any artist out there who has the ability to create clothing for the metahumans, you're going to be able to have a, a job. <laughs> you know, you're able to create clothing for the metahumans and then sell it. So it's up to you to think of any possible use over metahuman clothing. So think about what people are going to be doing, what kind of films they're going to be making, right? If you're thinking about sci-fi, think about the kind of outfits that we're going to need, you know? So if you're a creator, if you create clothing and you make something that you feel you'd like me to review, I'm open. I'm available to take a look. 
and give a shout out to you on your link to on fab so i encourage you guys i think this is an opportunity even though we are surrounded by ai advancements everywhere i think this is amazing because we get an opportunity to create some content that you can sell on fab and even for your short film you can create custom content for teams out there that are thinking about telling stories this is an opportunity for you to make custom clothing for meta humans and not just custom clothing but also custom hair you can use blender you can use 3ds max maya uh, you can use any number of pro, uh, programs out there and now that the meta human is you're able to use the meta human in any engine and any program it's really opened up the opportunities for the use of the meta humans so thank you so much for joining me today if you're new to my channel please spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so i, I you're alerted when i post a new video and thank you so much to all my patrons, guys. I appreciate your support. Man, what an amazing day to be alive, right? <laughs> if you are at uh, Unreal Fest, uh, I look forward to hearing your experience there. This is a, a day that we've been waiting for, for 5.6 to come out, but also for the opportunity to use MetaHumans beyond the Unreal Engine and be able to take it to any engine, use it in any program that you want, uh, and just to be able to tell stories in different um, areas. So I'm excited for that. I'm praying for you. Please stay safe. Do not give up on your dream. Whatever you do, no matter what is happening right now in the, because of AI, I'm hoping that the Unreal Engine inspires you to get back to telling authentic stories and create your own stories. Bring them to life, you know? And uh, I'm excited because I know uh, Character Creator 5 is coming out soon as well. And I'm excited because they say they, will go, they have a plugin that's going to be able to work together with a MetaHuman animator. So this is the MetaHuman uh, Creator plugin that used to be online. But now you can use it with inside of the Unreal Engine 5.6 and later. And you're going to be able to use a webcam to drive the MetaHuman just like you see me right now. I'm using a webcam to drive the face of this MetaHuman. And you'll be able to use video, pre-recorded video. You'll be able to use an Android phone, guys. You're going to be able to use uh, the iPhone itself as a live link. They've updated the live link plugins for Android and for iOS. So I'll be, I'm will be i going to do another video of that so you can see what it looks like. Thank you so much for joining me today. Much love. Dare to dream big. Do not give up on your dream, whatever you guys. Stay safe. Bye for now.